so as we know that cryptography for different application areas are there so at present you know cryptography for internet so for cryptography for internet which protocol you are used that is the ssl protocol so details regarding the ssl protocols it is covered in okay now we are going to cover the cryptography for wireless local area network so wireless local area network this is the simple wireless lan architecture okay so here what it contains it contains the multiple devices and this is the wireless access point and all these things you already learned in networking so i am not uh, going to explain in detail regarding the architecture okay let's directly i'll go to the security requirement in wireless lan also what type of the requirements is required same thing confidentiality mutual entity authentication data origin authentication here okay so if you are going to use the cryptography so cryptography it is to provide the security in the lan you require which type of the security one is the confidentiality mutual entity authentication and data origin authentication here so to fulfill those requirements you are using that is the wired equivalent privacy that is the okay it is one of the standard originally 802.11 standard is used to provide the security at the data link layer which means that it operates at the virtual networking layer that is close to being the equivalent of physical wires in a wired network it is equivalent to a okay it is actually virtual network layer but it is same as your physical okay wire network here an improved security mechanism known as wifi protected access wpa so wired is equivalent privacy providing the same privacy whatever it is okay provided for the wired network but one thing you remember in the wired network what are the security is required same thing if you are apply for the wireless network it doesn't works here so for wireless network you go and use the different mechanism so for that only you are used here as a ip protected access protocol here so this mechanism okay this wired equivalent privacy it is used for which purpose for confidentiality and integrity mechanism so here in the wep that is the wired equivalent privacy first we'll see what are the privacy this particular wep provides so if it is hanged any loopholes that loopholes you can overcome by using this wifi protected access so this is the procedure if you are using the wired equivalent privacy that is the wep so for providing the confidentiality and integrity this is the encryption process are going to be used allies want to send a message to bob so for that initialization vector it generates okay so what are the initialization vector it generates that for that it uh, compute the icb okay so that like your message authentication code later that okay initialized vector initialized vector is the initial value okay so next is you are using the your message that is the data along with the message authentication code here this data actually allies want to send to bob here so for that one it is uh, appending with the icv so that icv is what it is it is the message authentication code it is calculated for your initial value here and this one it is encrypted using the key here okay encrypted and that one you are sending to bob here so whenever it is received by the bob so bob has to decrypt this for decrypting that bob will just use the key and with the help of this that key it decrypts after decrypting bob will able to receive the message that message contains what here data and the icv so this icv it is there with the bob once again bob will calculate the okay message authentication code for the data whatever it is received by the allies and that value and this value it verify if it is same meaning of that one is what it is as integrity is preserved here okay so this is the example here allies will generate say 24 bit pseudo random initialization vector and appends the 
key to that to form the key here. Okay, this key is what it is, initialization vector with the key here. Next, it computes 32 bit CRC checksum of the data and appends this to data here. And that data you are encrypts with the help of this ICV using key key dash. Key dash is the key. It is uh, you are derived with the help of this initialization vector and the key it is known by the allies here. And for that CRC checksum is calculated and that CRC check checksum plus data you are encrypted using with the help of the derived key here. And you are sends the IV and the resulting ciphertext to Bob here. Okay. When Bob will receive, Bob will append the WEP key key to the receive to form the key here. Once again, whatever the key it is received, IV is the initialized, okay, pseudo random number. It is we are taking as the initialization vector. That vector is also it is sent by the allies. So when it is received by the Bob, Bob will what we Bob will do now. So Bob with the help of the key, it derived the new key here. Same key whatever it is derived by Dallas. So with the help of this, okay, WEP key and IV, Bob also derived the K dash here. So with the help of that K dash derived key, it decrypts the ciphertext whatever it is received by Dallas and it accepts the CRC checksum here. So and it verified that checksum, okay, is it correct or not. If the verification of IC is successful, then Bob will accept the data packet. Okay, if it is equal, so then what is the thing it is what it is? As it is the integrity is preserved and confidentiality is also proved. So that's why Bob will accept the data packet. Uh, entity that is it proved okay in WP it is proves the confidentiality and integrity one more step is there you need to prove the entity authentication so for to prove this entity authentication allies will send the request to authenticate to Bob here so Bob will send a nouns or be to allies here so first allies will send authenticate me so whenever Bob will receive that, for that Bob will send the acknowledgement as a reply. That reply message contains the nouns. Allies uses WEP encryption to encrypt this RB. So this nouns, whatever it is received by the Bob no, allies will encrypt that one with the help of the encryption key here. Okay, so later allies will send the initialization vector and the resulting ciphertext to Bob here. So that is the pseudo random vector as a number you are taking as the initialization vector. Along with that, that ciphertext is what it contains. It contains the nouns of the Bob here. That one it is encrypted and it is sent to Bob here. Bob will decrypt that ciphertext and checks that it decrypts to RB if it does he authenticate allies. After decrypting that ciphertext, ciphertext contains what here? It contains the nouns of the Bob here. Same nouns if it is received, then what it proves that is it proves the authentication of the allies here. So in WP, this is the procedure or mechanism is used to prove the or authenticate the allies here. So what are the attacks comes under in this WEP? So WEP key management weakness. So here you are having one of the problem that is the management is not proper here. Use of a shared fixed key because you know that here you are using which key? This WEP key and that key it is what it is exposed here. Same WP key you are using for encryption and the decryption. And what are the key you are using? No, that key is on the fixed size here. And it is exposure because for encryption and decryption you are using the same key. Everyone know that key. Okay, so that is the look, okay, problem of the WP key. And no key separation and key length. Key length is also very limited because your key is what it is. So just you are using the pseudo random number and for that, okay, you are using the WP key and you are deriving the new key as a K dash here. And that WP key is what it is. It is exposed, okay, because everyone are using the same key for the encryption and the decryption. That's why this is known by everyone here. So the, due to this loopholes, it is easily attacked by the hackers here. 